What's up, everybody? Uh, this is it's Scour HD. <clears throat> Today, I'm gonna try and attempt to show you a tutorial of how to basically fix the problem with Sony Vegas. Right now, my Vegas won't open. I've been clicking it a thousand times and won't work. Won't work. Um, basically, if you're having the same problem I've always had, um, if you record, I record with, with an HP VR Tony Extreme 2. And I'm recording the PlayStation 3 setting, and in which that saves it to M2TS file type. And uh, basically, Vegas Pro does not support that file type for some reason. And uh, it will, if in what it happens to me, is it usually crashes or it, uh, you know, freezes, lags, you know, doesn't work. If you guys are having that same problem, I'm going to show you how to basically fix that. And I think this is about the only way you can do that. There's many other programs out there, but I'm going to show you how to get this little converter right here the video pad editor is basically somewhat like Sony Vegas but it's it's a little different um, don't mind this little one here I'm gonna show you another tutorial to get that so right now uh, I'm gonna put a link in the description of what to do to get there it's uh, gonna just be this NCH software and all you're gonna do it's gonna pop up and you just hit download now um, I don't know the full version download right now or how to uh, torrent it and I will be working on that once mine runs out but I'm still on the free trial but uh, what you're just going to do is save as do your normal stuff or where you would save a program um, and then follow all the terms and guides and stuff and uh, and I think it should be pretty easy to get to and then uh, if you know how to download all that stuff, there's nothing special that you need to know how to do. And once you download it, um, basically, just I'll, uh, this is what I'm going to show you is basically just to open up a clip. You can, I think, you can import any clip because you can. And the benefit of this is you can actually split clips. Like usually, converters, you'd have to import the whole entire clip, and they would, um, and they, you know, then you'd have to convert it, which would take a long time. This takes a long time but it's because of the quality is going to turn out amazing this is going to be the best quality you're ever going to have on a converter ever it looks about this about the same if not even better from when you recorded so you're going to import your clip as you can see here m2ts file this is my raw clip uh raw recorded and uh it and fair warning this does lag and the audio does lag as well um when you play it out it's gonna lag a lot well, maybe about two or three seconds behind. I'm gonna play, and you can. Oops, already got my kill cam. Hold on. All right. Well, just believe me. Never mind. Okay. So, you know, this isn't the spot where I got the kill cam. It's relatively close. You're just gonna go over here and hit split, and uh, bet, uh, hit right click, remove selected clip. Sometimes it doesn't want to do it, so you're gonna have to do it again, and it always does it on the second time. Sometimes it does the first time. If you're lucky. And you cannot, I'm clicking everywhere on here. Um, you can't select it from clicking, so you gotta drag or hit play and whatever. And then say you wanna select it over there, even though that's about two minutes after I got my end of my clip. Split it again. It might t it lags a little bit, but it's okay, this happens. And once you split it, um, that's basically it. I only use this to split and convert my clips. You can edit, it's like an edit, it's kinda like a Sony Vegas, but. It's more, I just am using it to convert because it gives me the best quality ever. I've had another converter for a while, but I've just recently was introduced to this software by my best friend, SD Hearts. He's my bro. I will put his link to his YouTube channel in the description because I love him so much and I will put one other of my good friends in the description so you can both throw something to them. Alright, so if you've seen what I've done you're just gonna go up here to file and save movie don't hit save project or this stuff I don't know what it does so don't do it alright now I can't remember what it pops up when you actually save this for the first time once you set it it'll stay like that forever so just go to custom I'm pretty sure that custom is not selected on there and then I like MP4, so do this. It's the most commonly used file format around, so people are going to be more recognized by it unless you know what you're doing. 
um, and then resolution you're going to go to 128720 um, and then you're going to go to frame rate 59.94 is not basically a preset selection that they give you so you're going to have to go to custom and type it in yourself so if I wanted to do 59.93 <coughs> it would say that now I want 59.94 but yeah okay so there's your settings now if somehow maybe you type it in and it doesn't want to save I tried that for the first time uh, I didn't I'm like what the heck is it not, not doing this and so I just hit the detect button for some reason and it it went to it and then it was like that so I, I don't know if that's gonna happen to you guys or not but if it does you know what to do and then next you're gonna go to encoder options to make sure your quality is the best um, I know this is an mp4 file and you know I think it would make sense um, to select that but I'm pretty sure if you select this h264 it's gonna be even better quality if you want to experiment go right ahead If you want to try mpeg4 I don't know how it's gonna be but you guys can experiment with this do everything you want now with the quality when I first figured out how to change the quality I went to this and I think it was around here when, when I'm like ah that's why and so you just want to put it up all the way to high quality because you want the best quality possible um, bitrate you can always experiment with this the PVR records in 256 um, audio bit rate per second but I don't think audio really matters if you're gonna have it edited anyways because the editor is just gonna take out the audio so um, so those are your settings for that and then if you want to change the name of your video before you render it you can also always go ahead and just right click it and just go down to rename and type something else in but um, if you just don't want to do that um, just rename it whatever I already have that clip that I just cut for you right here so I'm not gonna type it again but just save it it'll save the name you can see the little por portion of it right there and then uh, and then all you do is hit OK and the and the it's gonna take some time to convert it's about it I could say about a 10 second clip could take about five minutes because I, I'm once I transfer it to the highest quality possible it, it takes a lot longer um, to convert but it in the end you're if you have an editor and you're not one you're not an editor yourself they're gonna love it because the quality is gonna be amazing I've pretty sure I'm pretty sure the quality does turn out better I'll uh, I'll cancel this right now um, it, it starts going in a second see it's already gone but I just cancel that so I'm gonna cancel out of this so those are your settings for video pad video editor professional now here is my raw clip of this. I'm going to click on this. Hopefully it's not going to be too loud for you guys, but it probably will. I'm going to go to where I got the clip, which is right here. And it and you can tell there's a little like stat it's kinda of hard to explain, but just watch. Just watch this. Alright, so there's the raw clip now. I'm going to show you, I have another folder for this, I'm going to show you it converted. You can tell me if this is better quality or not, or about the same. Uh, from that picture it looks about the same, but you guys can be the judge of that. I think it really turns it out a lot better. Um, but one thing to keep in mind if you're gonna do this you're probably gonna more than likely want Sony Vegas because um, I think it's this clip right here um, oh, I keep going to rename properties go to properties and just check see how this is, says 57 frames per second I don't know why it does that but it just kinda doesn't wanna go by what I set it to and this one is 59 frames but it really doesn't matter as long as it's as long as it's uh, somewhat you know close to close to 59.94 but then you're just gonna import it to Sony Vegas and then uh, and then just you know convert it to the settings that you think are the best for yourself I'll do another tutorial of how to give you some of the better Vegas settings that you could use but 
that's basically it guys um other than that hopefully you guys this might help you out um it does for me uh hopefully it will for you so uh just like this video send me a message if you need anything uh that i've maybe have forgotten and uh comment and subscribe thank you so much guys have a great day